the principle of one vehicle as a symbol of ultimacy. Shinran declared in the Kaiogao Shinsho that the name or absolute other power Nembutsu is the concept of sea of one vehicle. The principle of the one in the one vehicle is a central issue in the Mahayana tradition and the various schools which developed within it as part of their critical classification of doctrines. It is an assertion of the ultimacy of the particular teaching in question. In general, the term has been thought to signify the Mahayana teaching over against the Hinayana, namely the Shravakas or listeners or Pratyaka Buddhas or the solitary Buddhas. The Mahayana, in contrast to these other ways, was aimed to bring all beings to enlightenment. It proceeds in spiritual development from seeking self-benefit to benefiting others. Because the ultimate aim is to become Buddha, the Mahayana is also called Buddhayana. The one means unique or great. The vehicle means the teaching, that is, the unique teaching that bears all beings to the other shore of enlightenment. However, as Professor Inagaki indicates, the one vehicle also transcends Mahayana, since it includes all vehicles, rather than being simply a contrast to them, in accord with the goal of liberating all beings. All beings attain the same enlightenment, and all the alternative paths are compassionate means leading to the one vehicle. For Shinran, the one vehicle is the single Buddha vehicle of the primal vow. As a consequence, the 84,000 teachings are all provisional or temporary means which lead to the vow. This principle was employed in many traditions. We can find it in the teachings of the Kagan, Tendai Lotus, and Shingon traditions, as well as the Pure Land. The specific term, Sea of the One Vehicle, which was adopted by Shinran, appears in Shantao's commentary to the Meditation Sutra, where it is described as instantaneous or immediate teaching. In this context, it is the unsurpassed great benefit, the true benefit. The term C refers to the breadth or depth of the teaching. In other words, the Nembutsu of the Primal Vow is the ultimate teaching. In the Gudokusho, Shinran presents the Tendai Lotus, Shingon, and Zen paths among the true teachings of Buddhism because they also are instantaneous, immediate teachings. However, they are difficult paths or saintly paths, in contrast to the Pure Land teaching, which is the easy path of universal salvation based on the vow. The teachings and the difficult paths are upaya, or ways to help people toward the Pure Land path. As we pointed out above, Shinran indicates that the 84,000 teachings are all upaya, or compassionate means of good of the pure land. They are all the yaman, or essential gate, or keiman, temporary gate, referred to in the transformed land chapter of the Kaiogao Shinsho. Though the concept of one vehicle appears in other schools and in pure land tradition, the immediate background of Shinran's thought is the expression of this principle in the Tendai teaching and the Lotus Sutra, which relates the one vehicle to the purpose of the Buddha's appearance in the world. In the history of the interpretation of the Lotus Sutra, there has been question whether there are only three vehicles or possibly four. In chapter 2, we read that, quote, there is only one teaching, that is, the one vehicle. In the Buddha worlds of the ten directions, there is not a second or a third vehicle, except when the Buddhas teach expediently. The Buddhas appear in the worlds only for the one vehicle. Only this is true. The other two are not. Close quote. In the same chapter, there are several references to the one Buddha vehicle, which the Buddha divides into three as a means for teaching. In the parable of the burning house, the father has promised his children their favorite carts if they would come out. These carts were sheep, deer, and bullock. However, in the end, the father gave them all equally large white bullock carts. There is an implication of a vehicle beyond the ordinary three. The Buddha declares, quote, 
Sariputra. The rich man persuaded his sons to come out at first by promising them the gifts of the three kinds of carts. But the carts which he gave them later were the largest, most comfortable carts adorned with treasures. I led all beings at first with the teaching of the three vehicles. Now I will save them only by the great vehicle. Close quote. Though it was apparently a vehicle beyond the three that were promised, they were all united in ultimately arriving at the same enlightenment. While Shinran had the Lotus Sutra and Tendai Buddhism in his background, his passage is based on the text of the Queen Tremala Sutra. However, Shinran's reading of the passage differs from that in the Sutra itself. Commenting on the character of realization of the Arhats and Pratyeka Buddhas, the Sutra states, quote, Why is that so? Because the vehicles of the disciples and the self-enlightened ones are included in the great vehicle. Lord, the great vehicle is an expression for Buddha vehicle. In that way, the three vehicles are counted as one vehicle, or Ikayana. The ultimate realization of the Dharmakaya is the one vehicle. Lord, the Tathagata is not one thing and the Dharmakaya something else, but the Tathagata is himself the Dharmakaya. The ultimate realization of the Dharmakaya is the ultimate of the one vehicle. Close quote. To heighten the ultimacy of the teaching, Shinran reads the passage, quote, There is no other Tathagata, there is no other Dharma body. Close quote. According to Yamab and Akanuma, Shinran is maintaining that there is no Tathagata, Dharmakaya, or truth beyond or different from the ultimate truth that the Buddha vehicle of the primal vow represents. For Hoshino Genpo, that this means that those who attain rebirth in the Pure Land are not different from Amida Buddha, and that rebirth is to attain Nirvana. Dharmakaya, Bodhisattva, Amida Buddha, and Suchness are all one with no distinction. Shinran holds to the four-vehicle interpretation in stating that there are no two or three vehicles. The three lead to the one vehicle, which is none other than the one unique Buddha vehicle. The Lotus Sutra is a conciliatory or unifying text. In Japanese Tendai, it provided the basis of a broad syncretism. In the case of Shinran and other Kamakura Buddhists, however, the other side of the one vehicle, in terms of the ultimacy of the teaching which embraces all and which all must embrace, became the emphasis. The ultimacy of the name Nembutsu was further strengthened by a quotation from the Nirvana Sutra, quote, the ultimate in the process of consummation is the six paramitas. The ultimate that has been consummated is the one vehicle that all sentient beings will realize. The one vehicle is called Buddha nature. All beings, without exception, possess the one vehicle. Because it is covered over by their ignorance, they are unable to see it. Close quote. Following the presentation of the Ocean of the One Vehicle in the practice chapter of the Kaioga Shinsho, Shinran sets out a long list of contrasts or comparisons from either the standpoint of the nature of the teaching or the person. These comparisons are followed by a list of 27 similes which drive home the point that the One Vehicle of the Vow, quote, is unhindered, unbounded, supreme, profound, inexplicable, indescribable, and inconceivable." Close quote. The many distinctions and similes relate to the critical classification of teachings. The contrast is essentially other power over against self-power. Shenran makes clear throughout the absolute supremacy of the one vehicle of the primal vow. <laughs>